Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 IFBB Pro League Carolina Excalibur Pro Bikini results. Oh my gosh, I think this was an awesome show. Look at this top five. I'm sure you guys recognize some of these ladies. So exciting. And don't forget, we've got four shows coming up this weekend. It's a big weekend, so make sure you subscribe. I will be back with recaps of those shows as soon as I can. All right, so in terms of Olympia, this is considered a Tier 4 contest. The winner qualifies, second through fifth receive the points there at the bottom, and then at the end of the qualification period, which is starting to come up, November 20th, the top three in the point standings all get to go to the Olympia. So following up and looking at the top five, oh my gosh, this is kind of an interesting scorecard. So in first place was Jordan, second Jody, third Ivana, fourth Alessia, and fifth Nicole. But if you look closely, you'll see that the scores actually changed after prejudging. So in the prejudging show, Jody was in first place and Jordan was in second. And then at finals, it switched. So Jordan was in first place and Jody was in second place. So they had a tie and it's the final round that breaks the tie. So what they were in the evening show. So Jordan ended up winning. Like how incredible is that? That is so exciting. It looks like even... Um, Alessia and Ivana switched spots as well. Like over here, Alessia had scored just one point better than Ivana in the morning, and then Ivana scored a little bit better than Alessia in the evening. So talk about exciting. Just goes to show that the evening show matters, and it's not always decided in the morning. Very exciting. Okay, so here's Nicole in fifth place. She looks absolutely amazing. I love her delts. That's the first thing I noticed. She's got a lot of muscle, a lot of size in her upper body. Very beautifully rounded, very full. I think her delts are the largest delts on the stage. Very, very nice. Good conditioning too. So you've got some nice shape coming through in her arms. Some fantastic abs. Really small, tight stomach with a really small waist. Beautiful hourglass shape, great size to her uh, glutes. And what I like too is that she's got some size in her legs. So the bottom part is a good match to the top. So very balanced, very proportionate, nice posing, beautiful suit. So fabulous. Okay, Alessia, good grief. She has competed so much in this qualification period. I am running out of room, but you can see side by side, she is extremely consistent. She always really nails her conditioning. Um, the, the first thing that catches my eye when I see her is the line that runs down her leg. You see it every single show. It is such a beautiful definition of her quad. It really shows off her gorgeous hamstrings. Uh, I think her conditioning at this show was particularly good. Like, look at how much detail you're seeing in the back leg compared to what we typically see. So this is a very hard and lean looking Alessia. Very nice. Tiny waist as always. Beautiful lats. She's posing really well to show off that hourglass shape. It makes her waist look super tiny. Like it's very... Um, like a very small amount of waist. It goes from shoulders to lats, tiny waist, and then right back out right away into her glutes. So lots of angles. Great. I love this line coming and defining the bottom of her glute too. That's even more defined than we typically see. So I think this was really cool conditioning. She looks amazing. That suit is a gorgeous color and she's always good, but you know, she's getting better every time. Amazing. And there is a closer look just so that you can see her not so tiny. That definition in her legs looks really good. Okay, next is Ivana in third, another competitor who is doing a lot of shows this season and consistently in the top five. She seems to really favor that red suit and I can see why. It looks striking on her. It looks so good with her dark hair. Um, her 
The conditioning is beautiful as well. I like that you've got a little bit of detail in that back leg. I, I think also you're seeing a bit more conditioning from her than typical. Like if you look at all of the lines and grooves that in this back leg and then you scan across, it's definitely more than typical. So yeah, so she looks really good. Great conditioning, beautiful posing as always, as you can see, looking across. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Her waist is so small, really tiny, super flat abs. I love the turquoise nails. I think that looks really cool. <laughs> um, her tan looks beautiful. She just looks fantastic. It's a really good third place for her. She's got nice roundness in this delt. And wow, what an hourglass. Really good. Okay, next is Jody in second place. Again, another competitor we are, we are seeing over and over this period. And wow, she really is doing great. I always notice the conditioning on her. She's one of the more hard looking athletes. She's always got a lot of definition on that back leg, super deep grooves on her front legs, outlining the quad, um, some shadows for sure that are hiding the glute but you can still see the shape coming through and she's got a gorgeous curvy hamstring uh, amazing and I love how she's really twisted to the front so you see both of the shoulders really well even though you're also seeing the side of her leg okay so here's Jody zoomed in you can see her beautiful conditioning great curves. I just love her hamstring. Uh, she's got some just some gorgeous lines, beautiful curvy outline to her whole physique. And I love that her lipstick is like the perfect matching complimentary red to her suit. So she just looks fantastic. And wow, what a close race for her and Jordan. So here is Jordan in first, and again, I'm noticing a lot of conditioning, and she's usually one of the more hard and very well-defined athletes, and to me, she looks even more than ever. Like, check out all of this detail on the back leg, but also her front quad is pretty darn detailed, right? So this is very, a, a very hard bikini look, very athletic, very muscular, and she's really rocking it. Beautiful hourglass, um, great turquoise suit, of course. And what I love is it looks like her glute starts like way up here by her number. Just an amazing size, beautiful shape. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe she could work on getting her shoulders a little bit more level. Uh, at the Nashville show, they were a little more level, and I think that's a tiny bit more flattering to her shape. But let's just zoom in a bit. So here you can see what I mean about being really conditioned. And it seemed to be the theme of the whole show. Everybody was quite hard. So clearly that's um, what the judges had to work with, and they loved it because Jordan – looked really incredible and came out on top at the end of the day. So, wow. So here's everybody side by side. Now in this photo, the conditioning doesn't look quite so hardcore on any of the athletes. So, you know, it just kind of also goes to show how a picture doesn't always tell the full story. But you can see here how beautiful everybody is. We've got some amazing glutes, beautiful definition in that line down the leg of all of the competitors. Um, Ivana, I find, is standing a lot more frontward facing than the rest. They seem a little bit more sideways, although Nicole is quite frontwards as well. But these athletes know what to do to really show off their shape. And at the end of the day, it's the hourglass that matters. Okay, and now here's everybody from behind. Oh man, so when we look at Jordan and Jody, we're seeing some really good quad sweeps and a lot of roundness up on the top of the glutes and just some beautiful size in the legs. I think Jody had a little bit more detail coming through on her hamstrings. I really like the glute ham tie-ins on Ivana. I think they're really beautifully triangular. Nicole has some great fullness. Wow, her glutes are very round, very large, um, but maybe not quite the quad sweep that you're seeing from Jody or Jordan. And Alessia, I think her delts look amazing. Her waist looks really small. Her hair is cut in the perfect shape so you really notice that hourglass so everybody was amazing this was a really interesting show super hard super athletic and uh, really quite incredible so in terms of olympia 
Jordan is qualified. Jody's way at the top with 27 points. Ivana was already qualified. Alessia was already qualified. And Nicole is on the list with one. So there you have it. I've got four more recaps coming your way, so make sure you subscribe. Please give me a like if you like this video. Comment below with what you thought about these ladies and tell me what you think about the conditioning. Interesting, right? You can come find me at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.